Hi friends, welcome back to the channel. Today in our studio we are playing arcade games with the package Arcade. I know that uh, I can never resist a uh, good R pun and uh, here we have Arcade. It's on GitHub. Uh, I will link up this code to my website so you'll be able to copy and paste it. If you don't want to type it out just looking at the video. And basically what Arcade is, is some old classic video games. So first time we run it, we're going to need to install the package. So this top line here is going to install the package for us. We can then run the function games. And it will give us a list of the games currently available. You can see that I've already had a go of Pac-Man. Uh, we've got some others there as well, which I am going to have a go of. And then in order to run it, we just go games, dollars, the name of the game that we want. So if we start off with Pac-Man, Pac-Man's already been installed. The first time you play a game, it asks uh, for permission to install. You will need to install it. If we start with Pac-Man, we run it, comes up in the viewer window, it loads up. Uh, we have these arrow icons here so we can play the game clicking on those if we would like but it does also use the keyboard so those are just the keyboard arrows I can flick over to the keyboard and use it there instead uh, and use our uh, pretty traditional Pac-Man Just like that. I think we'll just let the ghosts grab us. Uh, so that is Pac-Man. I was really curious to see what Boulder Dash looks like. It was one that I can remember playing in, I'm pretty sure it was either a Commodore 64 or an Amstrad. Very, very, very long time ago. So let's run that. And you can see the first thing that comes up is uh, game not installed. Do you want to install it? So we will click on yes. We will get a bit of a uh, bit of dialogue there uh, but here we are in the game we've got the arrow keys where's our little friend our little friends there if you haven't played boulder dash we're trying to get all of these diamonds uh, and with the boulders if we step under a boulder we hold it on our head when we move out of the way it'll fall and so there's a bit of strategy involved sometimes in terms of getting boulders to move in particular places uh, you've got to be a little bit careful that you don't have a boulder fall on you. Uh, so for instance, if I move to here, if I go down one step, that boulder is going to fall on my head and kill me. Uh, so instead I need to figure something a little bit cleverer to do. And again, just uh, some very happy memories here. Some of these games depending on how old you are, uh, we'll probably have some very happy memories. Um, pretty pleased to see Boulder Dash. I think I will uh, finish the video here and then keep playing. Uh, but let's just do a quick recap of some of those other games. So Tetris, certainly a classic. Some of these others not quite as familiar with, uh, but probably worth an install. And really impressive what someone has been able to code up just in the viewer window here in our studio. I guess we could stretch it out if we would like actually I hadn't done that we can see there's some uh, frame rate info over on the right hand side there probably take that back off um, so yeah that is arcade pretty quick and easy to install uh, when I get a chance I will link up just this little bit of code on my website if you are viewing this before that's happened uh, you'll still be able to run this, you just will need to type out the code. So hopefully this is pretty interesting, just fun little aside for you. Uh, if you're not already a subscriber, would love it if you hit that subscribe button. And uh, I will be back soon with more videos on stats, R and other random stuff.